It's you again. Hello. I'm Hello. your stalker. Getting into the rust on this thing. Look at this pan. <laughs> when we discussed it the other day, we were just talking about the rust. And today I'm cutting it out because we're going to get into something pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to take out this entire rear package tray, this portion here, uh, the floors and the fenders, because I'm going to expose the floor pan and the, the torsion housing, the suspension part of it in the rear. So, yeah, I stepped on the floor where the battery was right through, not a chance. And then uh, this is all pretty thin, too. You can see what I kind of went around already with the Sawzall and that little air chisel. So I'm going to put some uh, headphones on, and Jamie too, earmuffs to be specific, mm -hmm. actually eye muffs to be even specificer. Mm -hmm. This is pretty cool, it's loud, I'm not going to explain it too much, but it's basically a pneumatic chisel. It works great for just blasting out sheet metal that you're going to replace. No sparks, no dust, lots of noise. Getting right to it on this one. Not a lot to explain. This is the demo mode. I cut out these little heater channels. These tubes run under the seat. They bring the hot air from the engine into the rocker panels. We're not going to use them. Let's start by cutting out the driver's side. I just wanted to kind of explore where that battery was and it's shot. The other tube. Quite rusty.
Who we? <laughs> Just a little hot in here. So it's pretty clear how little of those floors are actually strong. What did you say? I said it's hot. I'll get the air blower and I'll clean some of that junk off. Okay, I'll put the light and get my stick. All right, class, let's explore. I don't know if this will help, but I'm hoping it does. So, got your transaxle. This is some kind of a sway bar. This was factory in certain years, this one being a 68. That's going to come out. That uh, helps the rear axle from uh, getting really out of camber. Like if the car was uh, light on one side, it keeps it kind of tucked. Doesn't work all that great, but hey, they're in there. What's going to happen is these two frame horns coming on each side of the transaxle, that's what supports the engine. And then the transmission is uh, on its own mount, front and rear. Under the floor here, there's a big round tube. You see this? Mm -hmm. So these are your torsion rods. People call them torsion bars, but they're round in the back. They go from the inside of the center of the vehicle out to each side and they twist. That's what the spring in the Volkswagen is. It's not a coil spring like you'll see. It's actually a rod and it twists. So the little levers or swing arms as they are that go out to the tire, they ride up and down, thusly twisting that. Uh, when you lower the car, a lot of times people will take the spring plate off and rotate it so that it lowers the car and reinstall it. But the problem with the Volkswagen is when you do that, uh, the tires get a lot of negative camber. You see VWs and they're always kind of squatty. They're narrower on the track on top of the tire than they are at the bottom. This type of lowering that I'm doing is major surgery, but it's going to keep the tires in their orientation that they are now. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut the rest of this body out. 
This is the torsion bar too. It looks to be, I think, that this thing twists, but basically it's just designed, if this tire raises, it's going to try to raise the other one as well. Try to keep that car level. Yeah, it looks like I can just saw right through here, get this out of the way, and just come right in. Yeah, because this whole, this uh, structure under here, you'll see a little better when I get this out of the way. This whole part of the chassis is going to ride up six inches into the car. And looking at the fender wells, it looks like we can get away with that. I wanted to keep the stock fenders on for now, just to keep a good orientation of uh, when I raise this, is it going to have enough room to travel? I'm, I know I'm going to have bigger fenders in the end, but all just for stock parameter arrangement. All right, just kind of waiting for that compressor to catch up so I can just uh, get into this with the chisel if I need to. So I was able to make the cuts the way I did without too much uh, fussing around. You see, I cut right through the weak part of every panel. So if you're going to do this, look at these lines. Come through the top of the uh, firewall, through the bottom corner. Aha! That's the tube we're looking for. It's actually bolts that hold this on, but that one was so rusty, it just stripped. Get that gasket out of the way. 
Cut this battery cable off. All right. So this is what it looks like inside a Volkswagen. <laughs> it's summer, everybody. I'm in my sauna. How do I look? <laughs> wow. People want to know how you slim down. This is how. Yeah. They uh, don't show this on the television the show. The old hot tank treatment. <laughs> Who we? They don't show the sweat. Nope. All right. So, again, to reiterate, there's two little uh, connectors in here that'll get cut through. And as I described, I'm going to cut the rest of this floor out, and I'm going to start to think, like when I shorten a buggy, like a, a you know a fiberglass bodied buggy where you have a shortened chassis, I usually cut it right where it gets thin, right about where these heater cables are. And I'm thinking to simplify this, I might do the same, but I might just cut up maybe right here. So it'll be cut through, the floors will be gone, and this whole rear section of the chassis will be cut off and brought up six inches. So, uh, that's pretty exciting. What I'm going to do in preparation for that, I'm going to pull the engine uh, and again, clean out all of this business, get it all out the way. Um, this is going to be super radical. There's going to be no back seat in this when it's done. It's going to be a two seater. So yeah, six inch step up in the floor pan should be pretty groovy. So that's pretty much the demo portion of this. I'm going to do a lot of configuring. And uh, next time, we'll be ready to cut this chassis and bring it up. Yeah. <laughs>